Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2023 Topps Archive Signature Series Baseball Active Player Edition 20 box pick your team number 8. Often there there can be redemptions in here and the redemptions don't appear to have the city on there and there's no uh <clears throat> there's no checklist cardboardconnection.com and groupbreakchecklist.com are two main checklist providers do not have them attached to teams. So these active players, all they're all active players. They'll go to the team that they are currently on. Unless it's a redemption team, or unless it's a number block team, then it'll go to zero as usual. Here are the results of that random number block randomizer. So it's a serial number break featuring those teams right there. That's, uh, we did that in a separate video, so if you're looking for that. Big thanks to the people who bought their team straight up here in Pick Your Team 8. Dave with Last Bot Mojo, the White Sox. All right, and here is the case right here. And Archives fans, we did load up another case. So if you want to pick your teams, if you missed out on your teams this time, Go ahead and pick them. Don't miss out next time. Organize all this without it spilling all over the place. All right, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and the rest, and this giant tower right over there. Good luck, everybody. First one out of the gate is Tim Anderson. That's 78 out of 94. That's going to go to Dave, last spot mojo, hitting early. 70% of the time, last spot mojo hits 100% of the time. Yeah, Giant Tower. Not to be confused with Mike Tower, but his... Uh, his ancestor's giant tower. We got Tristan Houses, four out of 99. Chris Butler with, bots, uh, with Boston, Butler with Boston. Rex is saying there is a new burger campaign for McDonald's. They changed the recipe and claim they made it better. Now Mike's wondering, is McDonald's hamburger classic enough to be something you just can't change? Like, uh, like original Coke. There is Yasmani Grandal, 24 out of 30. And that's going to be for Nick and the Brew Crew. Mike Tower says, joke in middle school was about your French cousin Eiffel Tower. Middle school. You used that last week, Mike. Come on now. You can tell me the truth. There's Whit Merrifield, 16 out of 23. That goes to James and the Royals. Mike Tower, Mike will be at parties and be like, "Yeah, hi. I'm Mike Tower. You may know me. You may know my cousin Eiffel." There's 13 out of 45, JT Real Muto. Nice, that'll be for uh, Phillies. Phillies are a number block team. So if you're not familiar with it, we go by three right there. So that'll be three out of whatever, 13 out of whatever, 23, 43, 53, 193, so on and so forth. So Philly three is going to be Chris Butler.
All right, next is Josh Lowe, five out of 31. Steve Locke with the Tampa Bay Rays. Would it drive me crazy if McDonald's tar called a change of recipe for a burger as a reboot? Yeah, it probably would. Not about, not, not about reboots, more about original. We have Jeff McNeil, one of one. Who's got the Mets? Ryan Emerson with the Mets. Ryan, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. You got his facsimile autograph and his real autograph. Checks out. No funny business there. Well, McDonald's changed them. We've changed the recipe before. We're actually saying, but now before they were frozen. Now supposedly they're fresh. Here's Logan Gilbert, ten out of ninety nine. Ten ninety nine, like the like the tax form. That's going to go to Eric Houston, Houston with Seattle. Uh, I suppose I would have to believe McDonald's because why would I mean you would have to you know, there there could be lawsuits if they if they claim that but it's not true you know people love suing McDonald's here's future stars Alec Manoa forty eight out of ninety nine nice one for Toronto Toronto's a number block team so that goes to Toronto eight Jeremy Port with number eight. During pandemic, Wendy's had issues as their bur bur burgers are fresh, never frozen, supposedly, in their time of the hour. Shortage of fresh beef. Here's Matt Olson. at 7 out of 23. And that is Oakland A's edition of Matt Olson. That's going to go to Howard in Oakland. Victor says, I just saw that McDonald's add beef flavoring to their fries, which is why they taste so good. Is that right? Hmm. Or is just because they is it because they just use the same deep frying oil as they would with other fried products that they may or may not have? Or is it a separate basket? There's Jose Barrios, six out. Uh, no, check that nine out of sixty. Toronto nine. That's going to be for Ken. Jeremy Shack says. Uh, Wendy's is so good because they don't cut corners. Looks like we've got a uh, Wendy's marketing exec in the chat. I didn't know. I didn't know, realize Jeremy worked for uh, Wendy's or whoever they're owned by now. Whatever conglomerate they may or may not be owned by. Oh, CEO admitted to it. Thirty-one out of uh, thirty-two. Adolis Garcia. Rangers are a number block team, so they'll go to Texas one. That'll be for Chris. There's Jesse Winker. Five out of five. That's a train whistle for Cincinnati. Ed P. Got the Reds straight up. Ed. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo-woo. Losing my voice. Am I losing my voice? Five out of five. Big, bold autograph, too. I like that. Good job, Jesse. Huh. Victor with all sorts of info here. Coca-Cola does taste different at McDonald's because they still require their syrup to come in stainless steel containers for Coke. Interesting. Thirty-three out of forty-seven. Matthew Libertor. Steve Locke. Yeah, I got the joke, Mike. You don't have to explain it to me. Everyone knows. All right. 
Does not does everyone not know that Wendy's has square burgers? There's eleven out of seventy. Teoscar Hernandez. It's a Toronto one. Chris with Toronto. It's Joe Musgrove, seven out of ten on his on his rookie card when he was an Astro. That goes to Houston seven. Chris Butler, for number seven. Andres Jimenez, 20 out of 44 for Ryan and the Mets. Three more to go. The best burger I've had. And they don't make condor burgers, no. I wish they did. Uh, best fast food burger? I mean, I'm, I'm assuming you're not accounting for restaurant burgers. There's Brandon Crawford, 83 out of 85. Ed P and the Giants. If Rex had to choose his top five fast food burgers, he'd have to go five guys, then Burger King, Dairy Queen, McDonald's, and Wendy's. I don't think I've ever had a hamburger at Burger King. We got Max Muncy. He's been smashing the ball lately. 43 out of 48. That's going to be for my Dodgers. Chris of the Dodgers. And the 20th box. Good luck, everyone. We got more archives in the store. Check it out, jazbeescasebreaks.com. It's a redemption. Good luck, everybody. If it doesn't have the city on it, it'll go to the team they are currently on. A triple autographed card? There's P. A and P. <laughs> Anthony, Nick, Paul. Anthony, no Nolan, Nolan Ryan, we Nolan Arenado. Anthony Rizzo, Nolan Arenado, Paul Goldschmidt. <laughs> that would be if it's if it was just not three different people, but just one person with three autographs. All right, well, that's going to be a randomizer. One happy person, two sad people. Uh, the Cubs, or sorry, sorry, the uh, Yankees. Ken has the Yankees. And then these two are uh, Cardinals. So if it ends up with Arenado or Goldschmidt, it'll be Cardinal Zero, which will be Ken. Wow. No randomizer. Ken, this is yours. Ken Chestnut has the Yankees, and Ken Chestnut has zero, St. Louis zero, for Arenado and Goldschmidt. One very happy person. There you go, Ken. Congrats to you. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time for the next Archives break. Bye-bye.